you're watching Fred the Incredible on YouTube. Thank you and enjoy the video. Guys, what's going on? Sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I've been focusing a lot on my schoolwork. Now, if you guys remember some of my recent Instagram posts, then you probably remember the picture of my Funko Pop shelves. So in this video, I'd like to show you guys my entire Funko product collection. To begin, I want you all to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the incredible community. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting off at the very end of my shelf, I've got the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One A Star Wars Story, which is a Walmart exclusive, followed by Rose from the Last Jedi set, followed by Rey, Poe Dameron, Zori Bliss, as well as, as, well as a mystery mini of her, BB-8, Jaina, Rose, again, and Lieutenant Connix from um, The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Moving on, I've got the concept, the concept series Star Killer, which is a 2020 Galactic Convention exclusive, followed by Wrecker, Crosshair, Tech, Hunter, Echo, and Omega from the Bad Batch, whereas Omega right here is a Target exclusive. Then I've got a Funko Pop of General Grievous, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. Next I've got the Mandalorian and the Child from the Mandalorian. Spoiler alert if you if you haven't seen in the Mandalorian already, folks, then you're pro then you might be aware that uh, the child's real name is Grogu. And one of the other Funko products that I've got is this Wacky Wobbler of Rey from when she first appeared in Star Wars The Force Awakens. I, I got this back in... I believe it was... Um, the week after my 21st birthday this year. Then I've got this mystery mini of the of one of the Knights of Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. Then I've got some Star Wars themed pocket pops up here. Starting with the Mandalorian, Boba Fett, C-3PO, Darth Vader, and Luke Skywalker. Next I've got um Star Lord and Rocket the Raccoon from the Mandalorian, in terms of the Marvel Pops. Proceeding after my Star Wars Funko Pops. Now, some of the other Marvel Funko Pops that I have are this Gold Chrome Ant-Man from the first 10 years set from for Marvel Studios. Um, El Rockno and El Ananoid from the Marvel Luch from the Marvel Lucha Libre edition set, followed by Wanda 70s from WandaVision. <laughs> okay, and next I've got Soldiers Soldier Supreme, Diamond Patch, and Weapon Hex from Infinit from Infinity Warps. Whereas Weapon Hex here is a hot topic exclusive. And next I've got this Pop Pez Dispenser of Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and Hulkbuster from Avengers Infinity from, eh, from Avengers Infinity War, which is a pocket pot. Next I've got some DC Comics Funko Pops, such as Cyborg. Kid Flash, BCRF Batman, and White Lantern Sinestro, which is a um, 2021 Summer Convention exclusive. Next, I've got a few Pokemon Pops, 
including Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Eevee, Vulpix, Mr. Mime, and Jolteon. Next, I've got a couple of um, TV-related Funko Pops up here, including Mr. Bean Pajamas from Mr. Bean. I meant to say pajamas, not pajamas. My bad. Next, I've got Cisco Ramon, which is a 2019 Summer Convention exclusive, and Bloodwork, both of which are from The Flash. Then I've got um, this one animation Funko Pop up here for now, and it's of Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers. I love that show, by the way. In a rainbow pattern. And I do admit that I got this Tina Belcher Funko Pop um, for my collection um, at one point during this past summer, mainly because I didn't have have any of the Bob's Burgers Funko Pops at first, and just so you guys are aware, I am not gay. Next, I was able to put a couple of, of movie-related Funko Pops up here, such as Tina Goldstein, um, Serafina Piquiri, both of which are from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Buddy the Elf with Maple Syrup from Elf. I love that movie, by the way. And Marv from Home Alone. Then, then I've got The Young Grinch from Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. Man, that movie is the bane of my existence, mainly because I grew up with the Jim Carrey adaptation of How the Grinch Sold Christmas. The, and behind this Funko Pop, I've got... Mr. Rogers from A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. I also have some more pocket pops up here on my sh on the sides of my shelves, including The Flash, Ron Weasley in his Yule Ball outfit from Harry Potter, Harry Dunn in Tux and Toy Christmas in Tux from Dumb and Dumber, one of my other favorite movies of all time. I also have some more Pocket Pops down here. I hope you get... well, yeah, have, um, Pocket Pops such as Trix Rabbit and Buzz Lightyear from the Pixar Alien Remit. Next line. Man, I can't speak English today. Sorry. Next I've got Ronald McDonald and Hamburglar. From the McDonald's Ad Icons line, followed by Tommy Pickles Chase. Yeah, I can't really show it off to you guys right now because uh, um, I don't really have anywhere else to put it in my room. Next, I've got um, Billy Madison, which is a Target exclusive. Josh Baskin from Big, and by definition, that this pop underneath is my Hamburglar Funko Pop is Josh Baskin when he turns back into a kid at the end of that movie. Next, I've got Quasimodo Fool from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Dom, and then I've got Brand from The Goonies which is a Target exclusive. And last but not least, um, Alan Parrish from Jumanji. Yeah, if Robin Williams were still alive to this day, I would have wanted him to sign that Funko Pop of Alan Parrish, mainly because he played that character back in the 90s. <laughs> I also have two other Funko Pops up there on my stacked bookshelves. They're of um, Brutus the Buckeye, the Ohio State mascot. Let me move a bit closer so I can show oh, a closer look to you guys. And 
Then I've got this Diamond Collection Gingerbread Thor Funko Pop, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. I also have some other miscellaneous mystery minis up here on my on my dresser. I don't really have anywhere else to put them, to be honest. Eyes, the what? Asked, um, Funko product that I was able to add to my collection most recently was this pop tea of Pietro Maximoff from WandaVision. And I apologize for all of the grunting noises that you may hear throughout this video. I'm really trying to outgrow that tick. And speaking of ticks, I wish Funko came out with some pops of one of my favorite sitcoms ever, also known as The Middle. Okay, so here's what the Pietro Maximoff t-shirt looks like. And let me point let me point out that this pop tee is the first Funko Pop t-shirt that I ever added to my collection. Ever! Okay. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these Funko products was your favorite. Or if you had a favorite Funko Pop up there on my shelves that was your favorite, let me know which one it was down in the comments below. Down in the com comments below. Oh, if you're excited for Christmas, because I know I am. And I think that's it. Now, you know what to do. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, and let me know down in the comments below which one of these Funko Pops up here was your favorite. And I can't see where I'm pointing. But anyway, my social media... Um, usernames will be down in the description below, and you may want to consider following me on my social media. And until my next video, I will see you guys when I get there. Peace! Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys want to, here are some other videos for you to check out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on a single video. Thank you guys! <laughs>